It's a booming but controversial industry. With CBD, I'm like more chill. For relaxation as well as to relieve toothache and pains. That's the only thing that would help me with my migraine headaches. Cannabidiol or CBD has exploded in popularity as claims abound that it can treat almost anything from insomnia to inflammation. The idea that you can go online, purchase a CBD product, it shows up at your house, it's arguably legal and it is non-psychoactive, that's very appealing for a lot of people. So it's able to ride on that zeitgeist of cannabis. That popularity has made its way into big business. CVS Health recently announced it will begin selling CBD infused products at more than 800 stores across the country. And Simon Property Group, the nation's largest mall owner, has joined with cannabis goods maker Green Growth Brands to open about 100 kiosks at its malls by midsummer. It was easy to get funded as a CBD and cannabis company. It might not be so easy to get funded as a beauty company, a new beauty company. Even Martha Stewart is teaming up with Canopy Growth Corporation to develop new products. CBD's seemingly rapid fire popularity comes as Americans are increasingly open to trying it, despite very little evidence supporting many of the health claims the industry is making. Unfortunately, the vast majority of what we know about CBD is really just still limited to animal studies. More often than not, things that look good in animals, when you go into humans, those effects aren't there. CBD usually comes from a type of cannabis called hemp. Unlike THC, which gives marijuana its mind-altering effect, pure CBD does not get people high. But experts still advise caution when eating or drinking products that contain CBD. There is data that CBD can boost the levels of other drugs. If you are boosting the levels of all those other drugs, you might have a side effect. The flip side is if you are putting on a CBD skin cream product, to date we still don't have a single human study looking at what CBD topical products do. An FDA-approved drug for the treatment of seizures called Epidiolex became the first prescription drug derived from the cannabis plant last June. But the real game changer for CBD came late last year when President Donald Trump signed a farm bill legalizing hemp cultivation. The Food and Drug Administration recently cracked down on CBD-infused products that make health claims, but that's not stopping businesses from trying to turn green into more green. Christophe Fourier, Associated Press, Los Angeles.